Hi guys, welcome to Baking with Liv. I'm Olivia and today we're going to be doing a mini unboxing and then we're going to be decorating some of my, well, some of, <laughs> we're going to be decorating some of my current favorite cookies to decorate galaxy cookies. So let's get started. So the first box I'm going to open is the JH Cookie Co. May Pink Box. Now this box has a bunch of cutters in here. It has a stencil. Sometimes you get exclusives to the pink box. It's just really exciting and you never quite know what you're gonna get. But this month is all about Father's Day. April was all about Mother's Day. So you can kind of see the theme. Anyway, the first thing you get when you open it up is a slip that says the pink box, a cookie cutter surprise box, May edition 2021. And on the back, you see all the cutters you're gonna get, the stencil, and all, everything. It just tells you what you need to know. The next thing is they thank you for your purchase with all their links and everything you need to know about it, how to wash your cutters, take care of your cutters, be very nice to your cutters. Aww. I really, really love bears in this month. They sent a super bear sticker in the box. We also get a super dad stencil to go along with our plaque cutter that's included. So here we go with our cutters. The first cutter is the plaque cutter in question. It goes right here, let me make sure, yeah. with the super dad stencil, sort of like that. Then we have Super Dad or Super Bear. Now the next thing I'm going to lay out and I'm going to pan over it in just a bit with everything else and I'll show you how it goes together but it is a platter. It is a trophy that says number one dad and it comes with four different cutters and you're going to put it together to put together the trophy. So let's see. We have this piece and then that's the way it goes. Yeah. This piece have a rectangle for the bottom and there's a handle in here and then a handle like I said the, I'll show you in a second what it's gonna look like and last but certainly not least some of my favorite things are mini cookies and with JH cookie you get mini cutters every month so this month if you look down here are the cutters you get. This is for the dad that really loves his car, loves taking care of his car, everything about it. And you have the car wash minis. So the first one I'm gonna pick up is the mini sippy car. And we're gonna have our spray bottle, our sponge, and this is our soapy bucket. And so, I'm going to lay all those out, I'll pan over them so you can see everything that comes in the box. This is a really, really, really nice box. I love these, I'm going to get more of them. They're a great price. I'll leave a link below, you need to check them out because they're so... I just can't say any, I can't say any more good things about them, they're so nice. Okay, here's everything included in the JH Cookie May Pink Box. Here's another close-up on that silver paper. First one we've got is the trophy. You can see right here. We also have our cookie set that includes our plaque with the super dad and our super bear. And finally, the minis. The next box is not a subscription box. Really, I probably wouldn't show it, but I waited for it for three months. I ordered this back in February. And then there was a snowstorm and everything kind of shut down. And then, you know, over the past year, mail service has been hard to deal with. But I understand, you know, the mail, they have a lot to deal with right now. But anyway, our next box is from Sweetly Printed. And I ordered in February their Lucky Charms Multi-Cutter. Multi I really, really wanted to use this for St. Patrick's Day. And like I said, unfortunately it got lost in the mail. Um, 
But now, March is Lost is your game because I'm going to be doing a summer series that has to do with cereal. We're gonna work on, of course, Lucky Charms and Cheerios, uh, probably Frosted Flakes, Tricks, Fruity Pebbles, you name it. All the classic cereals, anything like that. We're going to do different desserts with them. That may be a cake, it may be cupcakes, cookies, it may all be cookies. I haven't quite fully planned it yet, but it'll be fun. So make sure to check back for that. Now, what you were really here for, at least I hope you were. Now to move on to our galaxy cookies. All right, so to make the galaxy cookies, the first thing we're gonna use are three circle cookies. We're going to use white royal icing, I have a thinner version right here and a thicker version right here. And if you're like me, you've already had a date and for some reason, <laughs> the world decided that you needed to have your thicker royal icing blow up on you and you had to stick it in another bag and let's just not talk about it anymore, shall we? Okay, so after you have those, you're gonna want a scribe tool or a toothpick whichever you have. And then we're going to use an airbrush, some white food coloring mixed with Everclear. You want it thin, but you don't want it too thin. I know that's confusing, but you want it to still maintain that white color because it can get too thin. And we're gonna use some edible glitter. This is from the Sugar Art. I love this stuff, a little goes a long way. It's really fine. And once you spray once, it's gonna get all in the air and you're gonna be glittery for the rest of the day. So I hope, I hope, 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 you are ready for that. And of course, since you're using your airbrush, you're gonna need your airbrush colors. You can use whatever colors you want, make your galaxy your own, but for what I wanna use, I'm going to use Midnight Black. I'm going to, this is Blushing Pink. Violet. And Hawaiian Blue. And I'm just keeping them in a little holder that they actually came in when I ordered them. And it looks like this. So that's just what's sitting in front of me. All right, so first things first, we're going to take our naked cookies and we are going to do an outline of thicker royal icing around the edge of the cookie. Now, if you're like me, circles are the bane of your existence. They're, no matter what you do, you're not gonna get a nice edge. You can go as slow as possible. You can have your icing at the perfect consistency. Sometimes it just doesn't work out. It's just not your day. That's okay. It's a galaxy. It doesn't matter. <laughs> and I like that part. So let's get started. If you use a 15 second icing, you can only outline and then go ahead and fill. I'm using a thicker icing and a thinner icing. And sometimes you need to wait just a tiny bit, but I'm not going to. I am feeling pretty good about things, so we're gonna see how they go. And I'm going to fill and flood the cookie now.
all three cookies done. You're gonna set them in, you're gonna set them to the side and let them dry for a little while. Get a nice crust on there. At least give it about 30 minutes, I normally say. Then come back and we're gonna airbrush. We're back after they've dried a bit. And what you're gonna to wanna to do next is just, normally what I do when I airbrush, I put it inside and kind of closed off cake box. And I can show you how to make that one in another video if you'd like to see that. But since I wanna show you how to do it, I can't use that box today because you can't see it all. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab some paper towels. And I'm gonna lay those down. And then we're gonna take our three semi dry cookies and we're gonna put those in the center. You can do one at a time if you want, or you can do all three at once. It's just whatever you're used to, whatever you like and whatever you prefer. Now that we have our cookies laid out, I'm gonna grab the airbrush and we are going to start with, hmm, what do I wanna start with? Let's start with blue. So I'm going to take our Hawaiian blue and put a couple of drops inside. You can start with whatever color you like. I like to do this order because I feel like it blends really well together. And I really like a blue kinky purple galaxy, but you do what you want. So try different things and see what works for you. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start on the edge and lightly pull back the trigger and start filling in some of our cookie. You can do that with all of them. And get it just slightly darker in certain areas and leave others just, you know, a little bit lighter, a little plainer. Have some areas white. Don't spray too much at once. You don't want it as a pool. You want to build color. If you have some left over, just get yourself a paper towel and spray the rest off on it. And now the next color I'm going to use is our blush in pink. I'm going to put a little in there. Now when you spray this, it will start coming out purple because you have a little leftover blue. If you want to avoid that, you can go ahead and wash your airbrush out. I kind of like the mix of the color and I'm a little lazy, so we're not going to do that. So here we go. I'm going to start the same way, just slightly building color and start kind of at the edge of the blue so you can start getting that transition in. You can see right here where it's transitioning from blue to purple to pink. You can carry that pink over as far as you want. You can carry it all the way to the other side of the blue, or you can leave it as is and just carry it a little way. So I think for this one, I'm carrying it all over. You can turn these as you want. You can also use gloves. I like to wear gloves. I was just going out this time because you may or may not have any. So do be prepared for a couple of fingers. Okay. Got that pink in there. Let's pour out the rest of the color. And now I'm gonna grab our violet. I'm gonna put a couple of drops in there. Fill in the rest like this. Create that transition from blue to purple and from pink to purple. Just lightly spraying.
you fill, if you filled in all now that you filled in all the purple that you want or well the purple that i want i'm going to take our midnight black get a few drops in we're going to go along the edges just to create some depth get the black that you always see in galaxy and the universe and everything in there and we're just going to start lightly like we always do pull the trigger back just a little bit get that depth You want you can even pull the black out a little bit further if you want into the center of the cookie it just depends on what you would like you can even do a quick swirl in the center Get a bit of movement in there. Just whatever you like. All right, when it looks the way you want it to, you're gonna stop doing that. Sit your airbrush to the side and grab your little mixing pot of white food coloring. I use Chef Master White. It's my favorite white. I find that it doesn't take as much product to make things white as it does with other brands, but I'm thinking of making another video and trying them all out and see which one I ultimately like. I'm thinking of putting Chef Master against Maricolor and Master Elite and Pro Gel if I can get my hands on some of it, and we'll see what happens. If you have any other, um, and Wilton as well, probably Wilton too. If you have any other brands you'd like me to try, let me know down below in the comments. But anyway, we're gonna take our brush, put it down in there, get a little wet, dab it off on the side of the cup. You don't, you want some, but you don't want too much. Dab it off on the side. And then we're going to kind of flick our brush, grab the bristles and pull it back a few times and flick that white over the cookie to give the look of stars our galaxy. You can also do this by getting a second paintbrush and tapping the edges together to give you larger blobs so it looks like even larger stars. It can also give you like streaks like comets. So just fill that in until you have the amount of stars you like and then sit it to the side. And this is a prime example of why you want to wear gloves when doing this. So if you can get them, get them. The final thing we're going to do is time for glitter. Remember our friend glitter? Okay. So I'm going to take the top off. We're going to get down here on the cookie a few inches away. And then we're going to spray. You can do like closer clumps like over here where I did that. And it'll kind of disperse out or however you want to. I just like the shine and the shimmer that it gives. And who doesn't love a little glitter? And now we're done. You can see all that glitter in there. Look at all the shine and the shimmer. This is really part of my thing. It's just all the shine. I really, really love using glitter on cookies. All right, so that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing and the making of the galaxy cookies. If you did, hit the like button down below. And if you have any questions or if you want me to try something or any ideas for future videos, just leave them down below in the comment section. Also, like I said earlier, we'll have different links for some of the things that we used in the description box below. So make sure you check those out. So until next time, bye.